welcome back to my youtube channel in the last session i have discussed about working construction and design of tesla coil today i'll be showing one numerical example of tesla coil first let us read out the question a tesla coil has a primary winding rated for 10 kv if l1 l2 and k are 10 milli henry 200 milli henry and 0.6 respectively find the peak value of output voltage v2 peak find the peak value of output voltage if the capacitance in the primary side is 2 microfarad and the capacitance in the secondary side is 1 nanofarad neglect the winding resistance find also the highest resonant frequency highest highest resonant frequency find also the highest resonance frequency produced with the right voltage applied so first uh, what you are supposed to do is you need to note down the given data so l1 is available what is l1 l1 is 10 milli henry 10 milli henry similarly l2 is also available what is l2 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 is uh, 200 milli henry so of coupling k equal to 0.6 or 60 percent that's already given in the question then see the capacitance value primary capacitance primary side capacitance that is equal to 2 microfarad similarly secondary side capacitance that is given 1 nanofarad c2 is equal to 1 uh, nanofarad please note down all the value carefully now it is advisable to draw one diagram of tesla coil as shown in the paper you can draw the tesla coil i already explained how how does tesla coil operate please draw the same diagram once again so you'll be getting more credit in the exam and all uh, you'll be getting more credit if you draw tesla coil separately okay now let us solve how, how to calculate v2 peak that means uh, peak value of output voltage and highest frequency produced those two things we are supposed to calculate that i have written separately okay now first and foremost thing you need to calculate m value m value are supposed to calculate m what is m m means mutual inductance m how to calculate m there is one formula m is given by k into root of l1 and l2 k into root of l1 multiplied by l2 all right please substitute the value k value means 0.6 already given in the question into l1 l2 if you multiply l1 and l2 will be getting 2000 Please use the KLC. Then the value will be approximately twenty six point eight two milli henry. Twenty six point eight two milli henry. All right. Now you are supposed to calculate omega one. Omega one how to calculate? One by root of L one C one. So if you substitute, how much you will be getting? One divided by square root of what is L one? 10 L1 equal to 10 milli henry. That means 10 into 10 to the power minus 3 henry into 2 into 10 to the power minus 6. That means 200 milli henry. So if you do the calculation, what you will get? 7 point 7 point 0 7 into 10 to the power 3 radian per second. Right in the second. Please verify with the help of Calci. Likewise, you can calculate omega two. You can calculate what is omega two? Omega two means one by square root of L two into C two. Same manner, you can substitute square root of what is L two? L two means two hundred into ten to the power minus three. Hundred. Better you convert everything into standard unit, decimal really unit. That means one into C two means. 1 nanofarad 1 nanofarad means 1 into 10 to the power minus 9 farad 10 to the power minus 9 then please calculate and verify with the help of kc so you will be getting 7.07 into 10 to the power 4 radian per second so kindly verify by using kc you please verify then similar like can calculate sigma sigma what is the value of sigma sigma is given by square root of 1 minus k square k means coefficient of coupling please substitute very carefully 1 minus 0.6 whole square that is given by 0.8 okay this is the answer for sigma 
Now what you can calculate? You can calculate gamma 2 as well as gamma 1 you can calculate. Please verify the previous equation. Okay, you can verify the equation. Gamma 2 square. One equation is there. Please, very, please watch my previous video. Omega 1 square plus omega 2 square divided by 2 plus square root of omega 1 square plus omega 2 square divided by 2 minus sigma square into sigma square into omega 1 square into omega 2 square so if you calculate uh, then you will be getting gamma 2 square similarly you can calculate gamma 1 square also gamma 1 square is given by one formula is that please watch my previous video omega 2 omega 1 square plus omega 2 square divided by 2 minus please take care the polarity square root of omega 1 square plus omega 2 square divided by 2 minus sigma square omega 1 square into omega 2 square all right then if you substitute the value of omega 1 square omega 2 square and sigma you substitute the value of omega 1 square omega 2 square as well as sigma then what you will get you can get gamma 1 and gamma 2 will be getting gamma 1 and gamma 2 please use the calc and you can verify the value of gamma 1 gamma 1 will be approximately equal to uh, 7 5.64 5.64 5 into 10 to the power 3 radian per second radian per second similarly you will be getting gamma 2 gamma 2 value will be getting that is approximately equal to 7.83 into 10 to the power 3 radian per second so please verify with the help of KLC ok so what I did I uh, first of all I could get m value uh, then omega 1 omega 2 then sigma then I could calculate I, I could use the equation gamma 1 square as well as gamma 2 square from that I will be getting gamma 1 equal to 5.645 5 into 10 to the power 3 and gamma 2 equal to 70.83 into 10 to the power 3 all right now I can reach one of my target that is equal to highest highest frequency produced how to calculate highest frequency produced highest frequency produced frequency produced one of the target one of the question highest frequency produced uh, one simple formula is that please note down gamma 2 divided by 2 pi gamma 2 upon 2 pi please substitute what is gamma 2 gamma 2 means uh, 70.83 70.83 into uh, 10 to the power 3 whole divided by 2 into 3.14 so please substitute then you will be getting approximately 11. 27 kilohertz this is the answer please verify by using calc i repeatedly saying that please verify in case any mistakes arise you can verify I, I already verified now what is the next target next target is v2 peak v2 peak so there is one formula to i already explained how to calculate peak value of output voltage vm upon sigma l1 l2 c2 into 1 divided by gamma 2 square minus gamma 1 square please substitute what is v v means input voltage that 10 into 10 to the power 3 into m value already computed already calculated 26.32 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by what is sigma sigma is already calculated 0 0.80 0 0.80 into what is L1, L2? Everything we, we all, already given in the question, question paper. 10 into uh, 200 into uh, 10 to the power minus 6 into 1 into 10 to the power minus 10. That means capacitance, C2 value. Into 1 divided by gamma 2 value and gamma 1 value already known. Already calculated. Recently we computed. Square minus 5.645 into 10 to the power 6 so if you calculate very carefully you will be getting 33.61 kilovolt
this are peak value of output voltage oh okay so these are the two things we are supposed to calculate first one is highest frequency produced this is the value of highest frequency produced that we already computed this is the answer 11.27 uh, kilohertz okay kilohertz you, you are supposed to verify the second target is v2 peak so this is already over then v2 peak we got 33 point we obtained 33.61 kv i request please practice this problem once again and verify the answer uh, thanks for watching this video uh, please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe thanks again